Good evening dear students. Welcome to Tenali Patshala. So in today's class we are going to talk about a blueprint for second PU chemistry for the academic year midterm examination for the academic year 2023-24. So, so, so many of you have asked the same therefore I am making the video. So if this video is helpful to you please share among your friends at least five friends so that every student can get a benefit of it. Yes without wasting time let us start. So you all of you have seen that the model question paper already signed by the PU board. This year somewhat question paper pattern is different right. So you will get section wise questions. Yes. See in part A you are having again two parts Roman number 1 and 2. Roman number 1 belongs to MCQs, Roman number 2 belongs to fill in the blanks questions. So in Roman number 1, 15 MCQs you are having, all 15 MCQs you have to solve it. And Roman number 2, 5 fill in the blanks questions are there, you have to solve all the 5. Part B, again, it belongs to 2 mark question. So in 2 mark question, out of 6 you have to write 3. Out of 6 you have to write 3 questions. Yes. Talking about part C, they are again divided into two parts, Roman number 4 and 5. Roman number 4 belongs to physical chemistry, 5 belongs to inorganic chemistry. Remember, section wise marks are distributed here. So again, 3 mark question only. Out of 6, you have to write 3. And here, out of 4, you have to write 2 questions like that. So getting my point, we'll discuss in detail in which chapter you are getting, which question, with question numbers also, don't worry. So yes, part D belongs to organic chemistry guys, 5 mark questions are there, 7 questions are given to you, you have to answer 4 questions out of 7 questions. And part E, this time they have introduced this one, new part E, there you will get numerical problems from the physical chemistry only. So you have to answer 3 questions out of 6 questions, numerical problems only will get from physical chemistry. Yes, so let us start with the midterm syllabus. You know that already from the physical chemistry, we are having two chapters uh, solution and electrochemistry. And from entire physical chemistry, you will get 47 marks in midterm exam. In uh, first one, you know, solution from solution chapter, totally we are getting 24 marks, guys, for midterm. One mark question, uh, four MCQs you will get from solution chapter. Question number 1, 2, 3, 4. All are belongs to solution only. That to MCQ I am talking about. And in fill in the blanks also you will get one question in the fill in the blanks. That is question number 16. From the solution only you will get. Means 4 MCQs, 1, 1 mark question from the solution. And 2, 2 mark questions. Question number 21 and question number 22 belongs to solution only. So 2, 2 mark question you will get. 3 mark question you will not get here. And here 3 mark question you will get 2. Third, question number 33 and question number 34. There you will get two three mark questions. And five mark question I told already. Five mark question only belongs to organic. And last numerical problems. You will get three numerical problems. I am talking about midterm. Don't forget. Yes. Three numerical problems you will get from solution chapter. Right. Yes. Talking about inorganic chemistry guys. Uh, one more chapter is there electrochemistry. So electrochemistry we are having weightage of 23 marks, 3 MCQs, 1 fill in the blanks, 2 2 mark questions, same almost, 2 3 mark questions and 3 problems from the electrochemistry, same, almost equal weightage only, only 1 MCQ is less in electrochemistry. So if you do out of solution or electrochemistry, any one chapter that is also fine, you will get all the questions because choice questions are there here so many, right? Yes, talking about inorganic chemistry guys, inorganic chemistry totally will get 22 marks, only one chapter is there for midterm that is D and F block elements and totally around 22, question, 22 marks you will get from this chapter, right? 3 MCQs, 1 one more question. Two more questions are not there, but part C, fourth question, main question four means uh, talking about uh, part C, three more question, you will get six question from this chapter, out of six you have to answer only three, three questions, right? 
and i already you know if you want a important question also please comment below below guys i will try to make a video on that also right yes talking about a uh, pi mark pi mark is not there on this chapter also oh numerical problems are also not there so total 22 marks talking about organic chemistry organic chemistry totally you will get 46 marks two chapters are there for midterm haloalkanes and haloranes and alcohol phenols ether haloalkanes and haloranes totally you will get 20 marks see two mcqs one fill in the blanks, one two mark question, and five mark question. Three will get from Harold Kins and Three five mark question. Right, 30 is question number 37, 38, 39. All will belongs to Hello Kins only. Yes, so talking about midterm, remember this point. Last chapter alcohols, phenols, and ethers. Here, total weightage is 26. Three MCQs, one fill in the blank. Question number 26 belongs to this one only. One, two more question. Three more questions are not there. Five more question. Again, you will get four here. Four, five more question you will get from alcohol, phenols, ether. That totally part D belongs to organic, I told already. Out of seven question, three from the haloalkanes, four from the alcohol. So you have to answer only four questions there. Last part, again, numerical problems are not going to ask from organic chemistry. So this is the pattern guys for midterm exam so i have written with the question numbers also which question number comes from this chapter like that so totally you are you are going to get one 15 mark question paper out of that you have to answer only 17 in part a 15 mcqs 15 fill, uh, 5 fill in the blanks and six uh, two mark question you will get you have to answer three means two into three will get six mark and in part c again divided into two part one is uh, inorganic chemistry one is a uh, physical chemistry from inorganic chemistry six three mark question you will get out of six you have to write three so three three is a nine you will get and from physical chemistry again you will get four question you have to answer two question this question is belongs to theory part getting my point part c fifth one belongs to physical chemistry theory part getting my point yes talking about ideal non ideal uh, nurse equation uh, batteries like that theory question you will get here yes because problematic part is separated this year so again here also two or four questions you will get out of four you have to answer two so three twos are six and five more question part d totally belongs to organic chemistry there you will get seven question out of seven question you have to answer four therefore five into four you will get 20 so last part e belongs to numerical problems that is our only ask from the physical chemistry that to solution three questions electrochemistry three question out of six question you have to answer three question so three into three nine totally you will get 15 plus five plus six plus nine plus six plus 20 totally plus nine is equal to 70 marks you will get out of 115 mark question paper you have to answer 17 mark choice is there guys but in detail you have to study yes all the best thanks for watching thank you